Tuesday and Friday. Huh? Let me make look this. Oh, there we go. Hi, everybody. Uh, sorry, uh, it's such a, a late start here. Uh, or sorry that things are weird. I'm filming on my own uh, today, and uh, it's uh, it's causing a little bit of a uh, confusion here. But anyhow, uh, no no worries. Azure will be back in future videos. Uh, she's just off today because uh, uh, she a she's busy at work, and b she doesn't really have um, much to to you know add uh, to the content of this video. She's always saying like uh, you know I just feel like I'm there. And I don't have much to say, so I you know. Figured I'd make this one on my own. Uh, I finally got all the pins I've been collecting into a board, and I wanted to talk to you guys about them. Figured that would make some, some nice content. Uh, so I've been collecting pins since before I started making this channel, or at least I, th I think that's I think. Well, anyway, I, I've been studying them since about the start of this channel, and some of the, uh, most of these I've uh, shown off when I got them in in various videos, but obviously never had one showing them all together. And uh, I, I've just mostly been keeping them in a box uh, together in their original packaging, with a few exceptions that I put on my fursuit harness, which I think, unfortunately, I may have lost one, one or two of them over the, over the times, as well as my work lanyard when I was working at GameStop. So, uh, one of these, uh, I distinctly remember, I wore uh, to GameStop. Huh. Okay, and... I remembered some things uh, during the process of the first take of this video. I just remembered I have a couple of fig pins. Uh, one of, uh, super, of Goku doing the spirit bomb pose. And another one of uh, Asui Suyu from uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, as well as a one that didn't, I didn't think to put in, put in here of Iron Man. I don't remember where I got that. It must have been a gift or something. Uh, forgive me whoever gifted me that. But anyhow... Uh, yeah, the, these are mostly just furry-related, uh, pins, so I guess, I guess it's okay if they're not in here. But anyhow, without further ado, uh, the top row is all, uh, furry mystery box pins. Uh, they're all, uh, almost the entire collection as far as I know. Uh, the number is, uh, one through seven, but I'm missing number four, unfortunately. Uh, I have posted to the furry mystery box, uh, telegram group, hoping to find anybody who has number four be willing to trade with me uh but yeah go, going through them uh we have uh the mystery foxes which are both both of these are number one I, i'm not sure exactly why they're both uh number one but they are uh then uh, we have this uh winged guy uh oh, there we go right here uh this pink haired one here uh so that's uh one one two three Five, six, and seven. Seven. Uh, this is one I actually have uh, a second copy of. So you can see right here, it is seven. Hopefully you can make that out there. So yeah, I'm willing to trade that one. I also have a second copy of... Uh, Enigma, I believe is his name, the orange mystery box, uh, mystery fox. Let's see if I can't hold that up there. Yeah, I have a spare one of them, which I believe was the original one that I, I got from them, uh, back in the day. Uh, the, all these ones on, with the, the backings with them, uh, I got as a, uh, a surplus of, of them, I guess. I think that they might be all, they, they got rid of all their stock. I, I know I bought uh, quite a bit of uh, their stuff. Uh, I, I think I even talked to Sal, uh, their, one of their main people, uh, about getting, uh, or their main furs, I should say, uh, about uh, trying not to get, uh, you know, like doubles of anything if I could help it. But I got a you know, whole, whole bunch of their plushies. Uh, there were a couple that, uh, one of which at least, uh, I had already before, but it's really cute. It's the bunny, it's the bunny plushie, so. Definitely didn't mind that I got a uh, second one of that one. But yeah, they were having this big sale, uh, probably a fire sale or whatever. But anyhow, right, uh, right below that is the, the Fox Dad, uh, pins. I believe there was only four. I, they, they all came together as a set with the Fox Dad, bo uh, mystery box. 
which also came with the Fox Dad shirt that I wore a handful of episodes back for Lionel, uh, and uh, as well as the Fox Dad comic. Uh, but yeah, I do not remember who these two are from, but I definitely would, would have shown them off in a, a, a video that I got them in. It would have been back when I was living with Lionel. Uh, it's Sal and Satine is uh, what it says their names are. Part of, also part of the reason why I didn't want to take their, their backings off. And then uh, right below them is the last of the furry mystery box uh, pins. Is a uh, awesome little uh, white canine there. Uh, then next to that uh, is two pins from uh, Nightlines. Uh, we have uh, Poison Love and uh, Poison Love and a Doe Nut. It's a doe. It's a doe, a deer, a female deer, and a donut. Uh, next to them is uh, Ollie from Brayburned. Uh, both uh, Brayburned and Nightlines have been guests of honor at A&E in uh, different years, and I have met and talked with them both. Uh, I was very honored to, to get to do that. They're both really awesome furs. Uh, next to Ollie is uh, the Frog in a Car. Uh, I got that one from The Completionist. It actually hails from uh, Mother 3, which I still need to play for my channel someday. I, I have a, an actual physical cartridge of it. It's translated. And it was actually not too expensive, so uh, I did test it out. I made sure it worked, and uh, it was in English and all that. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than like playing through the first maybe five, ten minutes, I, I don't think I got very far before I turned it off because I didn't want to spoil too much of it for myself. Uh, I have yet to experience much of Mother 3. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of know a few of the, the end game twists, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, hopefully you'll play that uh, for my Twitch stream at twitch.tv uh, uh, twitch slash Sakanka the Panda. Anyhow, um, so going down here, we got a woo. A woo. Uh, a woo and. Um, oh, was. I know I explained this in the last take. Where did they get the woo? Oh, yeah, the, the little. Uh, that little um, shark there. I got. I believe those were both from the same maker. Um, I do not remember who gifted me this uh, panda. I believe they were from the uh, a woo bowl uh, back in Massachusetts. I believe that, that was where I got it from. Uh, they just gave it to me as a gift, and I'm so sorry that I've forgotten who you were. Uh, I believe they were a panda, so that, you know that would be why it's a panda. So if you're a panda, if you know a panda in the Massachusetts area who uh, would have likely attended a Wooble, can you let me know who they are? Because uh, I feel so bad that I can't remember uh, their name. I, I, As good as it seems like I am with remembering things, I, uh, like my brain is just like so weird about remembering stuff. Uh, but anyhow, um, Underneath a woo is a pin that uh, says uh, stay soft. Again, I would have talked about this in the video that I got it from. I do not remember who who I got that one from, but I ordered that one online. Uh, underneath that I, is one of the oldest pins I have. I had that on my lanyard uh, when I worked at GameStop. Uh, I believe I had another one. I, I want to I say it's from a video game series. That would be why I wore it. I am unfamiliar with the franchise that it's from. I, I just got it because I, or I just had it because it looked cool. Uh, but yeah, underneath that is two Odin Wolf pins I got. One is Odin Wolf Sushi, and one is the uh, Pe Peekaboo Odin Wolf there. Um, I really love the Sushi one. That was actually the first one I got of his, and I got uh, some more of his merch in a later video. Uh, but yeah, next to that is uh, one I got uh, from... Lionel Eye's friend who works at uh, Builder Workshop. That's a little uh, bear with hearts. Um, then uh, over here we have uh, a Boston Pride pin and a Stitch Pride pin. Uh, both of those are gifts from Lionel. Uh, the Boston uh, Red Sox one actually came from uh, Fenway Park where uh, Lionel and I actually worked together uh, for quite a bit. Uh, he was an entertainer there and I helped him uh, with... Uh, Get, you know, organizing his lines and get, get gain, getting uh, people to come over and check out uh, or, and be interested in getting uh, getting something from him. 
and we work for tips. Uh, I mean, he, he got paid, you know, by Fenway to be there, but, uh, yeah, he didn't ask anybody to give him any money for his service, uh, unless they felt that he deserved, uh, you know, the money. Uh, you know, he's, he was always like, uh, work for tips anywhere between a buck and a million would be great. <laughs> we, we didn't get the million, but. Oh, man, I'm, I'm starting to lose light here. I better hurry up. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and the, the Stitch one is actually from uh, Disney. Uh, Lionel lives down in Florida and, like, uh, hops, skip, and a jump away from Disney, so he goes there all the time. Uh, next to that one uh, is the, the Lion uh, Pride pin. I actually got that. Uh, way back when I was filming in, with that office background, uh, so, uh, and forgive me, I do not remember who I got the lion pins from, but, the, uh, they were limited series, uh, they, uh, they might even be, even be numbered, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I believe I gifted one of those to Lionel, and I can't remember who the other person I gifted it to was, but I bought three of them, as I recall. And below that, uh, is the, uh, ooh, ooh, what's this pin that I got from, uh, Dear friend, uh, Zakira, uh, I bought a bunch of their stuff uh, back, in the back in the day. Uh, even bought uh, one of their shirts uh, for them. I actually bought it off their the website and sent it to, to them so they could have one of their shirts. Uh, but yeah, I know I have quite, uh, there may be quite a few of their uh, the items they designed that I might be the only one who owns one. It says that is. Uh, I also think it's pretty dang cool. Uh, such limited edition merchandise. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I also bought, uh, their, the series, a series of their, uh, Mortal Kombat inspired, uh, uh, furry pins. And I do not know what I did with them. It's killing me. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can find them someday. Uh, whether I brought them here in the move or whether they're still back my old home, uh, hopefully I'll find them. But, uh, yeah, don't forget to put them on this board. I'd have to get another one. Uh, but, yeah. Um, and then below the ooh uh pin is a Batman uh, pin that my sister gave me. And the uh, little triangle one there is uh, from my friend Mike. Uh, who also gave me the, the Rick Sanchez pin that's right here. Uh, next to them is uh, the reason why I'm wearing this, this shirt here. Uh, it is... Uh, We've got uh, Chief Bogo, Nick Wilde, and Judy Hopps pins uh, from the Neon Savannah line. And uh, underneath uh, that, uh, oh, I keep forgetting which side. Here, here we go. Uh, there was a pin that was here. It fell off in the last take, and uh, I freaked out quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you that one in just a little mo few moments here. Uh, next to that one is... Uh, it says, uh, food vibes only, with a little, uh, little furry guy poking out of a, a donut with a bite out of it. Uh, above that is, uh, Nick Wilde, uh, with Sly Fox. I believe that one is official Disney pin. Uh, then, uh, we've got, uh, I put these in a row because they're all of Copley the deer. We've got the To the Sea theme of Copley as a sailor with a, a telescope. Uh, then, uh, we got the Wear Deer, uh, version of Copley from the Attack of the Wear Con. Then we got the 2020, uh, Roaring Twenties, uh, Copley. And we got the, uh, 90s themed Copley, which is probably the, one of the biggest ones I have here besides, uh, Ollie. Uh, yeah, Ollie there. And, uh, maybe, uh, one of these two. But yeah, uh, so there's those ones. And, uh, oh. oh, I forgot to mention the, uh, the furry mystery box, uh, free pin that I got. Hopefully I can, I mean, maybe the thumbnail will work, but yeah. It says, uh, scan, uh, to get the, uh, uh, scan this and shop with us today. Uh, fursonapins.com slash shop. It is of a raccoon in a trash can. It says furry trash. That was super cute. Uh, then, uh, the rest of the ones I, I got at a training, a pin training event. Uh, these three right here, the white furry, the cat furry with the tentacles, and the black furry with the beach ball. Uh, I got all those, uh, from a pin training event. I do not know anything about them, but I, I foolishly traded, uh, the Cthulhu pin 
that uh, I got from Furry Mystery Box. And possibly something else. Hopefully it was a duplicate of something. I don't know why I, I traded that away, but uh, again, anybody who happens to have uh, the uh, number four Furry Mystery Box pin, uh, I'm in, interested in, in either buying or trading for it. As, especially since I do not think they have any left of those. Uh, but anyhow, um, there was one pin that I wanted to, to show off that I found after I completed this board, uh, which now might be possible to fit. Uh, but it's an official Nintendo Pikachu pin. It actually says uh, from the Pokemon Company, uh, or uh, yeah, the Pokemon, uh, it's an official Pokemon uh, pin with Pokeballs uh, imprinted on the back of it, no less. But I believe it says uh, 2016 uh, as the copyright uh, on it. But yeah, uh, it says uh, Pokemon uh, Collector Pin. I have no idea how well this will show up on camera, but... Yeah, it's got uh, Pokeballs on the back. But yeah, hopefully I can find a way to, to fit this on the board. I have really uh, like optimized this is, uh, pretty well, I feel. So there's not a whole lot of extra room unless, you know, I, I obviously, if I get rid of the backing boards of those, it'll fit. And then last but not least, the piece, the piece de resistance. Actually, oh shoot, I didn't talk about that green egg. Uh, before I get to that, I gotta mention this green egg. Uh, this green egg right here next to the frog in the car. Ah, there we go. N next to the uh, Stay Soft uh, and the Woo there. Green egg I got at the uh, pin trading event, or not the pin trading event, the, um, oh shoot, the, the gifting, uh, video, uh, panel. Basically it worked like a, uh, a Yankee swap or white elephant gift, uh, thing where you pick an item, you either keep it if you like it or trade it if you don't like it. And that means anybody else in line can also do the same and yada, yada, yada. I ended up, uh, getting and trading away, uh, or getting traded a couple different times until I eventually got what I got. Uh, it came, I ended up with a, a wooden uh, chest that was painted green, which is really cool. It currently holds all the uh, furry business cards that I've uh, collected from the conventions. And a dragon, um, a dragon keychain and that uh, dragon egg pin, which I, I, I thought were actually pretty cool. I wasn't sure uh, if they were the, the value that the, uh, you had to pay to, to participate. It was not a free uh, free thing, but she did the the host of the thing did tell me that she paid uh, actually more than the entry fee to, for it. So, you know, it was a fair trade. But yeah, the last thing I, I it was originally on the board but fell off. Uh, hopefully, I can show this off uh, for you guys. It's uh, tails. Holding a uh, dangling Sonic by a ring. It is so adorable. I had it uh, attached to the bottom uh, corner of, of the pin board. It was in this empty spot right here. And uh, yeah, I, I thought it was so cool to have, uh, have him dangling, uh, Sonic dangling there off the edge of, of the board. Uh, again, I do not remember who, who made that, where I got it from. But uh, it, I made a YouTube video when I got it, so you can check that video, check my older videos, and uh, I say where they're from there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I think that's all the things I talked about the first time through when there was no audio because I, I, I'm a dummy. I messed up. Uh, my better half isn't here to help, uh, help me out with this. Uh, I think we only ever uh, recorded with no audio and had to redo it maybe once uh, in all the videos we've done over the past year. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to have to turn the lights on here. It's starting to get dark. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a happy first week Friday. Bye-bye. <laughs>